Well, hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to a rebuff, and we are currently going very strong on our all character challenge, in fact we have five wins, which is like half of ten! I don't know why I felt the need to exclaim that and prove that I can do basic mathematics, I don't, I'm not really sure what exactly I was thinking, it just it just felt right to exclaim that at the time and I would ask you all if you could please not judge me. I think that would be the best defense in court. You're on the defendant's table, you're being accused of some heinous crime and then suddenly x-rays attack four nuns, two yetis, people, van! And then the battle that ensued was one for the ages. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but that would be the best defense in a courtroom. You're sat there, you're accused, you're on you're on the defendant's side of things, you're, you're not sure you're going to get out of this one, and you look to the jury and you just go, Don't judge me! And all of them are like, well, I mean, how do we, I mean, he's just asked us to not, how do we get around this now? I mean, it's like our job to, but, I mean, he's right, we should, what, what, what right do we have to judge him? Dude, you're the... You're the jury, you're literally, that's your purpose here. Oh yeah! Who made Frank a member of the jury? Leg day, calm down leg day. This is quite the intense room for me, because Judas, in theory, we'll talk about Frank and his funny fails later on. That sounds like a cartoon show. It's Frank and his funny fails, doing stuff and taking whales. That actually just sounds like an evil whaler called Frank who refuses to stop hunting whales. It could go in many ways, is all I'm saying. Rainbow baby! Yay! Oh, Rainbow baby is the best baby in the world. And by the best baby in the world, I of course mean uh, kind of meh. I guess technically the Rainbow baby has uh, more value than perhaps, I guess, Sister Maggie and Brother Bobby. Just because occasionally it will fire a shot that's really tangibly useful, maybe, but on the grand scheme of things, I don't see it being that fantastic of an item for us to grab here. Now, I am very tempted to blow up in these pots. There shouldn't the secret- oh, because it was the boss room, that's why, yes. I don't want to finish exploring the floor just because I really, I mean, I would like a tinted rock. I may have walked past one, given that it is Curse of Darkness, and I'm really, really bad at seeing anything in Curse of Darkness, but I'm not entirely sure that I have. I think I am going to use a key on this shop, just because I'm kinda hoping for a spirit house. That's the thing, the Judas run should be fairly easy, like the Isaac run. But at the same time, that is good, I'm glad to have that. At the same time, the one starting health, it gets to me. It makes me think I'm like the lost or something, and I can't, I just can't quite come to grips with it. Well, we got two money back, I, I guess, it was kind of, ah, it's not worth it, two for a bomb, it's just not worth it, but I had to try, ooh, the Headless Horseman, that's kind of interesting, quite the brutal first boss for Judas though, because if you get hit by one of those exploding bolts, you are just done, my friend, you are out of here, you are gone, you are finished, you are kaputted, you are deaded, and you are packaged off in a cardboard box and sent to hell on a first class trip to Weeville, and there's nothing you can do about it. It is kind of a shame to have to give up on the pony. A sentence I never thought I'd find myself saying, but the Book of B is obviously a much superior choice. Kind of upset that we are getting another seller. Really didn't want to have to deal with it twice in a row, though at least this room is fairly easy. And the key, awesome. And the item room, so actually I'm kind of pleased now. Please let it be glorious! Glorious! Stem cells! Yay! I love stem cells so much. God, I love having a massive lump of unborn baby on the side of my face. God, that's the best thing in the world ever. I'm just so, so happy about everything. It's just, yeah, hey. Go, stem cells. You're lucky I really want to win this run and consequently value every little bit of life. For some reason, in my madness, I thought I could kill all of those zombies before they touched me. 
I am a moron. We're going to buy another spirit heart again, just because on Judas, I just like to shore up my health as much as I physically can. I really do. And I guess the technical shot speed upgrade from stem cells is somewhat useful, maybe kind of. We need a bomb for that tinted rock I just walked past. But first, pin. I'm going to pin it all on you. Uh, imagine someone who is incapable of telling when someone's lying and puts so much trust in everyone and always believes everything that they say, much like the invention of lying, but only on a one-person scale. And they were invited to do... Ooh, 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 I see. I see. I rightly see. That's a solid devil deal. As far as deals with the devil go, that's a solid deal. But yeah, someone like that gets invited to do a jury, so every time the defendant is like, No, I didn't do it, he's like, Oh, you heard him, guys, he didn't do it. So I guess I guess we can all go home and Damn it, Frank, no, you gotta understand he's going to lie. It would be the most obnoxiously infuriating court case I could ever imagine. Getting brimstone with Judas's damage is obviously fantastic. Contract from below is again obviously fantastic. So I think, generally speaking, we have uh, two, one coin to win it all. Fuck you, machine. I guess we're not winning it all. That's a shame. I want that tinted rock. What if it contains magical powers that have been kept secret throughout the ages? Because they're, of course, the best magical powers. Oh, wait, why was I? Yeah, I'm just gonna quickly uh, blow up that poop that's already blown up because I'm a genius. Okay, so I guess literally there is no way for us to acquire any more consumables on this floor. I am very scared of dying to these spikes like an absolute moron. I'm also kind of scared of the fact I'm back to one health and it's not even a red heart. There is something very very worrying about that, but at the same time having brimstone in rooms like this that are normally, you know, a, a little bit worrying, just just a tad, it's kind of uh, mostly fine. Can I even affect? No, I can't affect you. Well, this is going to be interesting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, oh, by, um, guys. Guys, I don't have a plan. I, my plan is, um, my plan's not very good. I don't have a good plan. In theory... Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. The plan worked. The plan worked, everybody. Don't mind me. The plan is great success. The plan is great success. I can't really do it on this side, though. So I'm going to have to maybe... Nope, that doesn't work either. Um... Uh... This is a little bit scary to me. Yeah, I, I actually, I genuinely don't think I had a choice in whether I wanted to take damage or not there. I just kind of had to accept that I was going to. I don't think there actually is a way for me to deal with that as a thing. Why did I walk down towards that shot? Good God. In what world did I think that would be a good idea? It's just, it's like I've got a death wish. It's like I actually have a death wish. Oh. Pheromone brimstone is actually pretty damn effective as far as things go. But, you know, we are playing as the Lost right now, which is a little bit scary. I could really do with some health of some description at some point. And I was like, I was thinking maybe I shouldn't have taken contract from below. But actually, oh, nice, curved horn. But actually, it would have taken both my hearts to take Brimstone anyway, so I don't suppose it's that much of a problem. I am very happy to find a shop here, as long as it's not got greed in. Okay, all right. Thank everything. Everything's okay. Who's our boss? Goody is kind of fine, I think, mostly. You should die fairly well to everything that we're doing here. Probably. There we go. Alright, I was a little bit scared, but we managed it. Uh, Magic 8 Ball is pretty much looseless, but at least we get a tarot card, and that's really, really what we need in the world. Oh, calm down! Calm down, self! Stop brimstoning! Can you just please 
Stop brimstoning! That's all I want you to do. Really? Really? That brimstone does not finish him? Okay, Crampy's head is eight, but when we already have brimstone, Book of Belial is clearly the superior option. And I am, for the sake of being terrified, going to go to the next floor and immediately stars and hope to get something that can be considered a defensive item. So, excuse me! Oh, I mean, actually, the Sad Onion's pretty good, because now we can charge Brimstone at quite the rate, but also, I really want it. Like, Holy Mantle would make me the happiest person in the world right here. It really would. Holy Mantle is, is kind of what I want to see. But I, I don't know. Spoonbender? Spoonbender would make me very happy. I'd like, whoa, troll bombs, all right. Calm down. Calm the hell down. This is... Ooh, these guys tend to hurt you. Fortunately, Brimstone is probably the best type of attack for this kind of situation. Just because you can pretty much very safely kill most things. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Lovely. In fact, our damage, I mean, it's okay. It's four. So, Brimstone level four is kind of awesome because it obviously hits, like, ridiculously. Boom. There we go. I just don't want to take damage to the goddamn Eternal Fly because I know I'm going to. I know I'm going to. I'm, I'm not allowed to not at any point when... Okay. All right. I was scared that some of them were champions and I thought it might immediately blow up in my face, but fortunately it didn't. So, I got that going for me. Those guys should die fairly nicely, so should they. Okay, I am very content to have gotten such a nice little uh, room there. And I'm very lucky that none of them chose to pop up, like, next to me. Otherwise, I probably would have been in trouble. I kind of want to uh, grab myself a key and get to the shop in order to buy a spirit heart. So I'm going to keep just very carefully and deliberately exploring the floor. The arcade might actually be a solution for us. Stop killing each other! It's just brutal, this pheromone. It just turns it into a bloodthirsty spot. It really does. And goodbye. Do I really want to do a boss rush? Not for that, I don't. Not for that. Do I even want to finish exploring? I think I do. If I don't find a key for the shop, I'm going to go to the arcade. That's basically what I'm telling myself here. And you can die. Fortunately, one blast of brimstone does seem to be... Ho <sighs> ho Okay. That is good. That is exactly what we wanted to find there. This is nice. As long as we can recover from the temporary ridiculously low amount of health, that's a really annoying arcade to get there. I don't really want to give up anything for any of that. We should be okay now. I don't see a boss doing this. But what I do see happening, which is going to suck, is I'm going to kill this boss and there's going to be a really tasty three heart deal, and I'm going to be tempted to go down to half a spirit heart, which would be an awful decision. Getting little Chad is absolutely just, I mean, pointless. We don't have any red hearts anyway, so really wanted a better boss drop than this. Just some, some sort of hearts, all right? Actually, the pact is okay, because the pact does, of course, come with two of those hearts back, so that is definitely worth it for one. All right, we actually got a devil deal we could take on our low amount of hearts. This is potentially going pretty well, but in terms of endgame, ooh, XL kind of sucks, especially with Labyrinth involved, because we are going to be wandering around these corridors for a while. Labyrinths are scary, though, to be fair. Like, you ever thought just how actually scary a Labyrinth is? Because it's a very, very scary place. You could get lost at any moment and never, ever... Okay, I'll admit the pheromones kind of confused me there. I was like, did that zombie just forget what it was doing with its life and just stop attacking me? Because that's what that feels like just happened. But no, I, I have pheromone shot and that's okay. That's all right. Who die? Okay. Everybody calm down. Well, this is pretty easy. This is what I like to see from a room there. We'll also grab ourselves the money. God, I need some bombs, though. I really, really need some bombs. Like, very, very badly. That is a very good brimstone-friendly room. This is also technically a very, very good brimstone-friendly room. The pheromone shots actually make it kind of a little bit annoying, but mostly it's fine. 
That pin was really going for it. That was one hell of a jump, my friend. Fair enough. I mean, he has got some freaking powerful diggers on him. Double keys is good. That basically just gets us our item rooms. A lot of big rooms here. And that kind of scares me because big rooms tend to mean death. Though this, fortunately, is one of the easier big rooms. Though I still tend to find ways to take damage on it because I'm a massive, massive scrub. And uh, did you survive? You did survive. No charging, though. No charging. I guess I should duck in and kill the first boss. It's an adversary. Could have been a lot better, but, you know, one adversary is okay, especially when we're used to fighting two in the chest. We, in theory, shouldn't take damage to it, but I don't want to count my chickens just yet. All right, we do manage to get away with that. And we do get a speedball, which... Honestly, has zero effect on Brimstone, if I'm correct. So, boss drops have not been very friendly to us. Again, wanting to find me some bombs. That room is basically a free room, as long as you don't panic. Kill the Dingle Dangles before the hands force me into them. I hate being forced into Dingle Dangle hands so much. I'm surprised that Brimstone actually lasted long enough to get both the hands there. That surprised me, but it's good. It's good, very useful. I am kind of very much sat forward edge of my seat here, because this, this is very intense for me. This could really, really be both a very gloriously powerful, technically easy run, but at the same time, this has the potential to end my challenge, which is kind of lame. I at least want to get maybe five characters in. I think that's an okay for a first shot at this. I think that's at least a little bit respectable in, in some way. Yeah, there we go. And boom. Brimstone is just so ridiculously useful. Not least because it's powerful, of course, but just because it gives you the option to kill stuff from such ridiculous range. And another Tinted Rock that we're probably not going to be able to do because we're not allowed bombs! I really thought bombs would spawn. Just to... Oh my god! It's the room! Oh my god, I did it! Guys! The room of you can't not take damage! <gasps> I managed to pull it off! Let's not, let's not break the record by immediately walking into spikes. Let's not ruin that. Just be proud of myself that I've managed to do the room of you can't not take damage without taking damage. So I guess I can't really call it that anymore, can I? It's, it's no longer technically the room of you can't not take damage. I can't believe we've not found a item room yet with this much of... Uh, the floor explode. You think we really would have? They are nowhere near the threat they normally are in uh, Brimstone City. And having the pink brimstone is actually kind of neat, just because it does look visually very, very cool. Careful, self. You're not moving fast enough to completely ignore it. And goodbye. Still, item room. Are you hiding somewhere? There we go. We've got ourselves the item room. Isn't that just lovely? Goodbye, skulls. Come on, glory! That's not really that glorious. I mean, the invincibility's nice, and no, I'm sorry, petrified poop. You're a little bit late in the day to be useful. If I'd got you on the first couple floors, then maybe, maybe I'd consider it, but not right now. Nope, normal chest. Good try. Good try. Honestly, very good try, but not today. That room is very scary when you are moving at the just the speed that I am. Fast enough that you can throw yourself into spikes, but not fast enough that you can just kind of ignore the room's gimmick. So, that's a very intense experience. And we found ourselves the shop, which is obviously... Hey, we did it. That was good. It's not so much, but at least we've got ourselves a bomb. Maybe the only bomb we're ever going to be allowed... And I guess I'm just going to put that back up to 790, because I'm just nice like that. And we get two lots of the stars. Is that technically going to work? Well, if it puts us in the other one, then we have to do a lot of walking back, and I feel like we're close enough that I can just find it. I mean, I'd be surprised if it genuinely... Of course, oh, of course, of course. I do the floor perfectly, absolutely perfectly perfectly without taking damage to anything at any point and then what takes a heart away from me a spider a single goddamn spider and two useless item rooms that kind of hurts to see that very much hurts to see okay this room is normally i mean i'm really happy to get it because it means a lot of uh, 
potential good stuff tarot card wise but I'm also not happy to see it because the fires always tend to do a number on me especially when you can only fire in straight lines that tends to make it a lot more difficult so this is kind of unfortunate for us right now I can either use this bomb on these skulls, I can use this bomb on the tinted rock, I can use this bomb to get that gold chest. I think the gold chest is the least useful. In fact, not having bombs is probably going to cost us this run. Just because the amount of hearts that are technically around the place, if only I have the explosions to make use of them, is quite honestly really upsetting. Where even was the Tinted Rock? That's what I can't remember. Down here? Yes, there we go. I think the Tinted Rock is best because it's the most likely to be some health. So, I got that going for me. But I have to do Mum's Mum and then the Womb on this kind of health. I just don't see it happening. There's too many little things that just kind of get you. I think I am definitely going to go to the final room I've not killed, just in the vain hope that some bombs drop. Because, of course, one bomb drop equals two bomb drops, because uh, I can do maths, and we have contract from below. You know, I better not have sold my soul for nothing. I'm going to be so upset if, after all this, I have sold my soul for nothing. Was there anything potentially useful in this shop? Not really. I mean, I could buy that pill and hope for the best, but if it's health down, I'm just going to be really really upset with myself and walk into my beam and no bombs of course so yeah an entire floor and only one bomb and it was from the shop that kind of sucks i feel like i need to take a risk at this point fortier energy technically would have been useful but not as much right now so I guess I just gotta play well, which is, you know, kind of upsetting, all things considered. Because as we all know, if there's one thing I don't do in Isaac, it's play well. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, self. Hang on, I've thought of a plan. I've thought of a plan. Everybody, I have thought of a plan. I mean, we are gonna give up the boss rush to go do this, but <laughs> doing the boss rush on this kind of... That's hilarious. That's really, really hilarious, that freaking room is so scary realized right that didn't we get petrified poop like where where was petrified poop was here all right so there's two things that i've realized one petrified poop and a load of poop potentially we could get something nice there's no guarantee get a bit of money okay whatever we could go get the portable slot machine and play it zero times we have that going for us either way back to the curved horn i thought maybe it would work but alas a lact is not to be and then the second thing we can get in here and then use the stars to get away with a i didn't want to even risk slightly one of those dudes hitting me there so i'm gonna give up the money so yeah, this kind of works out. Now that we've got this extra bomb, we want to go to... Uh, in fact, we do have the other stars as well, so we may as well keep that as a teleport for a free rush later on. And I think the best place to use this bomb is on 225% chances to get a spirit heart, and there we go. So I think that is what you call really squeezing out every possible avenue of usefulness from a floor like this so i guess we're just gonna go have a little go at mother okay it is normal so potentially that is better we get to double dip on damage there does it actually count as double dipping like if i hit the foot and one of the things in the doors does it actually count as doing double damage or is that just is that just wishful thinking? Well, we're safe to go in the devil room because we've at least killed Krampus. The mark comes with a the mark comes with a spirit heart, right? I'm not going crazy. It's the pentagram that doesn't. So if I get the mark and then get Abaddon, that's the correct order. Please don't let this be wrong. Okay, good. All right, that was that was very worrying. I was very worrying. So we just very much lucked out. Now, I could pick up the scythe for a damage boost, but I have max damage, and quite frankly, 
I'm not gonna do it. For once in my rebirth life, I am not going to spend three hearts on a devil deal I don't actually need and then lose the game. I'm just, I'm just, it's just not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. And no, that pill over there? Couldn't care less about it. Could not care less. Oh, die! Spiders, the bane of brimstone charging everywhere. Oh, I think then that may have just completely saved the run. I didn't actually take damage in the mum fight, so finding those extra hearts wasn't that needed, especially as we gave them up for Abaddon. But, you know, obviously I did not expect that kind of ridiculous level devil deal, so I'm still very much pleased with how I chose to operate that. That was some very close dodging of... Uh, the, oh, it was a laser. I assumed it was just another normal tech laser eye, but no, it wasn't. And now I pay the price. Okay, that looked like it was very much going for me there. Hello? Okay, good. I could go in there and then hope that there's something good and then stars out. There's technically nothing too wrong with that. I also think I'm going to explode our friend here and see what he ends up dropping for us. If it's health, I'll be tempted to leave it just because the period of invincibility every single time we get hit is going to be much more useful than being able to get hit once more. Alright, so we will take the mystery sack because that's going to result in a lot more useful things. So we have our teleport or we can have Spoonbender Brimstone. And obviously Spoonbender Brimstone is a very, very powerful brimstone indeed. So that's something we have to consider. It's probably the best use I could physically think of for Magician card, is if you're toting some brimstone action, and we all like brimstone action. It's the best kind of action. Come at me, zombie! You ain't got nothing! You ain't got nothing! I don't know why I'm getting so aggressive over that zombie. I'm just really happy that I didn't throw this run, because I was trying to. Double trouble? I can handle some double. Yay! Double Fallen as well. Double Fallen with Brimstone like this is absolutely excellent because... Oh, I thought he was dying, not freaking... I thought he was turning into the two, not Brimstone firing. I don't like that they basically have the same... Oh my god! ...face whenever they do that. And they do. They bloody do. Ooh, free spirit of the night. That's potentially very useful. Come on, spirit hats. One that will do nicely, and you guys calm down. Glad they can't injure you while they're in the air. So yeah, we'll definitely take a free spooky ghost. If only really for... Why am I just ahead? Shouldn't I have the little spooky ghost tail? So what I can do now, at the very least, is go in the curse room. Because I can fly in, not take damage, and then stars my way out. And thank my lucky stars for this opportunity. That was, um... Really lame. As it turned out, that was very pointless, and I guess I wasted the stars card. But at the same time, I of course did want to take the uh, magician with me to the next floor, so I suppose it's okay. And the fall, double fall and only hitting me once, I'm kind of happy with. So we got the health back, we gained spirit of the night, which is very useful flight, especially still with another creep-filled womb floor to go. So overall... I'm fairly content with how we're currently doing this. I still think Mr. Isaac is going to potentially prove trouble just because... Oh, really? It's so difficult with Brimstone because obviously I can't... I can't leave the spot that I'm stood on or I stop damaging whatever it is I am currently aiming at, which means that... I'm bound to get hit by quad eye rooms, so it's kind of unfortunate that I have had two separate quad eye rooms. That seems kind of lame. Oh, well, we killed them all. I was convinced there was still another leech hanging around the place, but I guess I was wrong in that regard. Yes, get charm shotted. What are you going to do now, worms? You damn dirty worms. And I go, whoa, you move faster than I expected, Chubb. I don't know why you did, because obviously... And, I, you know, I know you pretty well, but, you know, I didn't expect it. Oh, a six is tempting, but I think a reroll at this stage would probably be a negative thing. I mean, what are the chances that we get powerfuller than max damage brimstone? feel like not a lot. My only temptation to do it is if we really start to find ourselves needing some extra survival. In that scenario, I might be tempted to walk on it. 
But, ah, uh, it's, it's a real decision. We do have a tinted rock there, but of course, this is the run where we're not allowed bombs. At least I prefer runs where we're not allowed bombs to runs where we're not allowed keys. So, I, yeah, I can't, I can't always want it my way. That would just be ridiculous. Do I have something stopping bombs dropping? Because that's the only reason I can explain for this kind of unlock. Because with the keys, it was because I had Guppy's tail. But I feel like I don't have something that prevents bomb drops in this run. So it's just a little bit weird to me. And the innocence, cool. And then we just finish him off. Yay! It lasted long enough. It was what I was hoping for. I really think doppelgangers should. Uh, bad guess? Could have been worse. I really think doppelgangers should always have your attack type. Like, irrelevant of if you have brimstone or scythes or anything like that, doppelgangers should throw it at you. Just because that would be awesome. Alright, so I guess we will do the heart at least. Just to get it out the way more than anything. So we're going to go in and use the brimstone charge to... Whoa! That was very upsetting. Like, I was deliberately... And the reason I didn't use Book of Belial, by the way, so I could walk in fully charged to kill the eyes straight away. So I am a little bit upset that... A, the eye spawned on top of me, the only place that it could have hit me from, and then B, the second one didn't even spawn, so it just confused me the entire fight. Feel like that could have got a lot better for me. I mean, granted, losing that wood health isn't really the end of the world, but I would have preferred to keep it. Definitely would have preferred to keep it. So there's a big part of me that does want to go in the curse room. But the thing is, why? What am I hoping for? At best, maybe a free... I mean, we've got the mark and we got the pack, so maybe a free pentagram? That's not worth giving up a health for. Damage isn't the issue here. We need to keep any and all survival that we have going for us. So that's what we got to think about. Oh, finally happened. See, that's just sheer unluckiness costing a run potential there just to accidentally find bad uh, trip because I mean it's obviously equally likely that we're going to just give ourselves a health up which then gives us a very nice chance at getting things done we do have a boss rush here which potentially will have worthwhile chess in uh, that's not worth fighting the boss for distant admiration hey at least we do get that drop there so we're gonna go in here and uh, Hope that we somehow get a bomb, everybody. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys, but I am excited. We do get a replacement money. We get hearts. Of course, we get hearts. Explosives. Give me explosives. I want explosives. Yes, yeah, spirit hearts. Really lovely to get. I seem to be getting an awful lot of them. Which, again, I'm not going to complain about. But I think that was justice for having my... Ooh. Well, this is going very well. I am very glad I came in here. Gonna give it all of my money. Just take it! Take all of my money! So we're back to... I mean, we've had bad trips, so, oh, you know, there's nothing this could really do. I guess amnesia and make the trip back to the boss a little bit more awkward, but I think I can handle that for the potential of stocking up on spirit hearts here. And I do like that I have... Oh my god, a bomb! Yes! We finally got a bomb! What is with the bomb drought? Just what is with the bomb drought? And... Uh, well, I mean, you can die. There we go. And finally, we are done. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to use this bomb on the Tinted Rock, just because, again, that gives us the higher chance at getting definite value out of it over maybe trying to pot shot a secret room. So, I think that makes sense. And there you go, bomb. Explode to your heart's content. Ah, Guppy's head is okay, I guess, but not as good as Booker Belial. So, that is a shame, but it was definitely worth the attempt. Now I am kind of tempted to go in the cursed room, just because we're still going to have enough health left afterwards. And unfortunately, tis not to be, but that's okay. I think five hearts is technically enough to do the cathedral. It just kind of depends on how Isaac treats us. And Isaac sometimes is a very gracious host, but at other times, he's a pain in the proverbial ass. Not the real ass, of course. We're not talking about real ass here. We're talking about proverbial. Why did I do that? And, like, why did I... Why did I... I'm, I, I just, like, reflexively pressed it because... I don't know, I'm, I'm good at this game, I guess. Hey, let's fire brimstone at each other. That'll be really good fun. And another spirit heart. The world is treating me pretty nicely. And even a battery to make my failure not quite as bad. Isn't that just lovely? Fistula is ridiculously easy with brimstone. 
why was I even concerned for that? Oh, now we get bombs. We won't have a use for this bomb the entire floor, but at least we've been allowed them. So, you know, it's the moral victory, I think, that we need to take here. I hope I'm definitely going on a one-way path to Mr. Isaac here. It kind of feels like I am. There's a lot of uh, rooms connected to everything. Normally, the longest path tends to be the correct one, but not always. Sometimes you get, like, trolled and get a cathedral where Isaac is, like, next to the spawn, and you miss it during your entire travels. Yes, both of you fight each other. Oh, the lovely double summon pile on top technique pioneered by the Loki twins to maximize their killing themselves potential. And double health up. I mean, because I used one, obviously may as well use the other, which this is both a blessing and a curse. Yes, being able to take two extra hits against Isaac is lovely, but at the same time, not having all of the invincibility is kind of a massive shame. So this really could have gone either way for us. Fire your laser, or at least I, yeah, actually our damage is a lot higher than I was giving it credit for, I feel. Yep, two more bombs, of course. Anything going on here? We do grab ourselves a bad gas pill, the best pill in the world. Free money ain't gonna do anything of note for him, and we got ourselves a free chest. Oh, just wanted some spirit hearts or a guppy item or just something. Yeah, look at the sheer volume of bombs we're getting. All right, Isaac, let's have ourselves a play. Okay, actually, our damage is fairly decent. The only, of course, downside is that we have to stay in line with him in order to damage him with Brimstone, which is a little bit, yeah, that, I mean, I just kind of had to guess at that stage, and whatever happened, happened. And you go in there, center is the power to here. Yeah, I, I guess I should stop being so worried about Isaac, especially when I do have decent level damage, because I do tend to just kind of beat him, which I never really expected to, because he is my definite biggest, oh, really? You lost that run? Fool! Candidate. Please chest give us survivability. That's all I want. No curse on the chest. Always wonderful. That's all right. That's all right. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wafer. Wafer the burr. And of course Virgo is actually kind of nice. In fact, we just, we just got two wafer effects back to back, didn't we? So that's, I suppose, very useful. The fear on top of the charm. So Big Greed there was terrified, running away as Little Greed was trying its best to slaughter him. I feel like there's some sort of poignant, sort of, like, deep meaning in this that we should all look at. The true, the true pain in a human soul or something. But at the same time, haha, <laughs> Big Greed's gonna kill by Little Greed! Is what I want to take away from it, personally. Loads of chubs, and I like it when you charm a load of chubs and they just, like wreck each other. It's a very amusing boss-on-boss -boss fight to watch because they do a lot of damage. Charm, I think, is a very, very useful effect to have with Brimstone because it does seem to be stupidly effective. And we get health and two bombs, so all is kind of well. I guess, can little Chad's heart drops be turned into Spirit Heart if you have uh, enough of a chance for it to happen, like the Rosary Bead and the Bible Tract and the like, because potentially that would be a fairly decent combo. So much bad gas! Are you trying to say something, game? Do you have a problem with Judith? Are you trying to say that he is a very unkempt person and doesn't often make sure that he is of presentable cleanliness? Because that's just really mean. I mean, if you met Judas, I'd say he's, you know, he's gonna be an evil corporate person in a suit. That's what I see when I see Mr. Judas. That was one of the best damages I think I've ever taken. I just kind of stood there and watched him run at me. So that overall was very good quality self. Okay, we still definitely have potential here. We've still not lost free of Abaddon's heart. So in that respect, we kind of just got this. You're charmed. Go face other chub in glorious battle. Oh, he died before you could face him in glorious battle. I know those feels. Some days you just want glorious battle. Black heart as well. Lovely. And then other other days, you just want to have a nice relaxing sit down on the settee and maybe watch a program or two. But you know, you don't always get to have this choice. Sometimes glorious battle appears where glorious battle appears and you've got to accept it. 
Where are you going to land, other adversary? I was kind of concerned by you there. Yep, there's the brimstone of brimstoneness. The wafer is just so effective here. Effectively getting double health is just wonderful. Really? Really, bro? Okay, there we go. Goodbye. You totally shouldn't be affected by that rock move when you're flying. There should be a nice little extra benefit of flying. Though I guess, you know, the counter-argument to that is flying is already pretty much powerful enough without giving it any more boosts. Hey, fly at me really fast and then die, pink haunt. No, haunt pink suits you, man. You should, you should make that your new default color. Totally. I feel like... Dancing, dancing. No, I feel like these guys are going to take some serious levels of killing here, but I'm kind of okay. We're getting compound damage with every cage rolling, 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 rolling that's going on here, and goodbye. That could have been a lot more brutal, but fear and charm proving once again that they are the masters. You want to have a laser fight, Gluttony? You want to have a laser fight? You, you want to go? Too late, bro. Should have killed Gluttony last, just in case he dropped the health up and full heal. But then it's not really that necessary. I mean, if I die because I needed to be able to take two more hits, then I guess you can blame me for, you know, my massive amounts of failure. Mr. Mega, yeah! I do like that we are a demon wearing a lovely pink bow. It's, you know, there's nothing, you know, just because you're a bloodthirsty demon does not mean that you can be both cute and fashionable, all right? Don't let the oppressive demon overlords tell you otherwise. You are free to be a stylish demon if you so want to be, and that is your right as a ruler of hell. Please drop the heart. Ah, oh, lad'll do as well. I mean, we get HP up, and, well, we're still not moving that slowly. We used to have been at quite the speed there. I would go get loads of health, but as soon as it's strewn around the place and he's going to get dro dropped by little Chad, absolutely loads. I'm not too bothered about it. Rainbow Baby has been with us through this entire... Did I just dodge those fires by not moving? Because if so, that's hilarious. Guillotine and Mini Mush. No guillotine. Well... Ah, why not? Let's get guillotine. It's a damage up. The tears are nice and all. And actually, with the brimstone, it's kind of cool to see it slowly get rotated around the body as it's firing. It does mean hitting consistently is fine. But as we have uh, the magician to give us Spoonbender brimstone against our blue baby friend, I think we're going to be A-OK -okay taking that. It's effectively just a tears and damage upgrade when combined with Spoonbender. And just some spiders that, of course, do manage to damage us. So that makes sense. And yeah, here we go. Blue baby, book up a Lyle, and then the magician, and then vom, 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 vom. Ah, that's so cool. That's such a neat combination. Ah, oh, I really want that as just my actual setup for the entire run. That's just so, so neat. All right, blue baby, you're trying to get to me. You're thinking you're so cool with your summoning of flies and your eternalness. Well, get Mr. Megard. Yeah, I could sit here all day and he would have a hard time finishing me off. Boom! Judas done and dusted. The challenge is alive and healthy and shall continue. My name has been Rachel, but I like you've enjoyed this. It really does help. And I do appreciate it. And subscribe for more. Oh, goodbye.